Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. As always, got another offensive gameplay video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to show you guys an offense that I've been perfecting uh, over the last couple of weeks, and I really broke it down into a science. And I'm going to show you guys how to run this exact same offense for yourself. I was driving people crazy in weekend league this last week. As you're going to see, this gameplay, this this offense is is pretty unstoppable if you use it correctly. Uh, so, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. As always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. First, I'm going to show you guys my offense. What I'm uh, working with. I have a lot of people that always ask me what I'm using as my superstar abilities and stuff like that. My offense itself, in, in my opinion, is pretty loaded. I mean, Sean Alexander, I love him uh, with the Redskins cam. He's pretty a pretty boss. Uh, got Randy Moss recently. Got Rich Gannon. Uh, finally got him up to uh, 98, uh, which, you know, I got to be honest, my offense has improved since I've got Rich Gannon. Uh, but as far as the abilities go, I mean, I pretty much just have route technician on Randy Moss. Uh, on uh, Sean Alexander, I got Jukebox. That's pretty much it. And then I always have my quarterback pretty pimped out. I got uh, Rich Gannon where he's got Identifier, Gunslinger, and Fearless, which I think he's the only quarterback that can have Fearless and, Ide and uh, Gunslinger. So he's definitely going to be the MVP of this video. Now, as far as my chems go, I got Go Deep maxed out, Lockdown maxed out, uh, Kansas City Chiefs and Washington football team at 25 and 25, and then obviously I got Sprinter maxed out. So that's my setup. Uh, before we get into the video, as always, if you want to get your mud team up like mine, make sure to check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. Link in the description below. And you discount code money shot to get five percent what's already pretty much the cheapest coins on the market so check them out let's get right into the gameplay my first opponent has a really nice squad he's got the full eagles chem uh, i wish that you know honestly like i wish that i had an eagles team I, i'm rolling with a washington team because i really wanted to you know to me it's one of the best uh, team chems to run but i'd be much happier with it with an eagles squad being an eagles fan starting off with the ball the first offensive scheme that i run just about every game and i'm gonna run multiple games here so you're gonna see it but it's gonna be out of the gun split close this is my balanced offense attack this is something if i want to run or pass play ball control i got some one play touchdowns pretty much everything starts with the gun split close this is my favorite formation to run uh, at least if i want if i don't know if i want to run or pass i have more pass heavy formations and more run heavy formations i'll show you guys in a minute the number one trick that i'm going to do is i'm going to switch my running back because this spot right here the fullback spot technically is the end MVP of this offensive series now the only play I'm really gonna change out I'm gonna change out the slot curl here and I'm gonna put in uh, my most important run play which is the fullback inside this is gonna be my go-to run play it's essentially like an inside zone but it has really good blocking and it's really hard to stop uh, the play that I'm gonna start off as my fifth play is always gonna be the doubles in it just because it can you know be a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses but I'm pretty much always gonna be looking for that fullback inside if I come to the line and I see uh, enough spacing in the direction of the fullback inside I'm going to pick that play but I'm not 100% liking that look, and I can see it looks like he's in his own coverage. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go with the halfback wheel. This is something where if he's supposed to use this route as a uh, in a man coverage, it's usually going to be open. And against most zones, it's going to be open as well. So sure enough, he's in his own coverage. Everything drops back. And sure enough, that table route's wide open for an easy catch and run. So just a slight adjustment. We get 25 yards on the first play. On the next play, we're going to go right back to that fullback inside. Like I said, I'm always looking for that. If it's a zone coverage, I'm going to motion this guy across because that would give me an additional blocker. If it's a man coverage, the DB will follow. But there it does not so you can see it helps out a little bit get a nice five yard run on the next play we motion at the opposite direction just because we're trying to confuse our opponent and sure enough we get a huge hole uh, where we meet our uh, user right in the middle um, so on the next play if there was a go-to pass play in this formation it would be without a doubt the paf slide this is my go-to play whenever it's third and short uh red zone whatever on the next play though i don't know why i changed it but i, I switch over to the uh the halfback power o which is a good run play but i mean whenever i see this look when it's tight like this a lot of times you can have success going the opposite way uh but sure enough it does not work out on this particular play as for whatever reason my dude was going to fall backwards for it Psych! but decided to run forward and not get the first down what? which is something i'll never really understand but either way we're gonna go right back to that play we should have ran this in the first place as this setup right here we're pretty Pretty much get open against any zone coverage this running back which like i said the fullback is the mvp of this formation he's always going to get open any zone coverage and we have a man beater which i'll show you a little bit later as well so we get the first down pretty easily there on the next play i'm trying to set up a one play touchdown against cover three which is definitely there but we take the check down to the running back and it seems as if my opponent's starting to pick up on this so we're going to go ahead we're going to switch it up we're going to change formations to my pass heavy formation that's the empty base flex this formation is really only about one pass play it might be two or three that i use in total but the middle high low is going to be the most important pass play in my entire arsenal there's not a playbook in this game
game that I will use unless it has the middle high low in it. Uh, it's because it's such a hard to stop uh, explosive play. You can run this a couple different ways. The only way that I'm going to run it in this particular setup is I'm going to drag this uh, X route, which is going to be most important. I'll also then put the A route on a streak and I'll put the uh, the B route here on just a little check down, just a little in route. But the Y route's the play, whether it's a cover one or a cover three, anything with a single high safety like my opponent has here, uh, you're going to have an opportunity for a one play touchdown. That's exactly what we get. So we only had to run that play one time. Uh, on the defensive side, not going to show a lot on the defensive side because it's not a defensive video, but the cover four drop is a play that I just put out. I'll try to put a link in the description for that. I got a whole new setup for this coming in a future video uh, that I've been using a lot and having a lot of success. But you can see even the old setup is having success. You can see right there, he just kind of beats me with uh, a playmaker. Uh, then on second and nine, I mean, this guy has a little bit of success. I, I try to send a little bit of heat on this play, leave the middle a little bit wide open. And my opponent's having a lot of success on his first drive. Typically, when you don't know what your opponent likes to do throughout the game, that's, you know, the first drive, they, they have the most success. Um, but he's moving right down the field on me. And then he gets inside the 10. But this is what separates the men from the boys. Can you score in the red zone? On the next play, he makes a good read because I'm pinching and basing line and all kind of stuff, showing press. And sure enough, it looks like this receiver's not even being covered. So I can understand why he tries to make this read. You can see his quarterback starts making the hot route adjustment. And he tries to throw a quick uh, streak. And we get an interception. That might have worked if you were at the 50, but it's not going to work from the 10. So back on the offensive side, we're going to get to our uh, you know, our running formation. This is my run-heavy formation out of the single back ace. I put this scheme out. I'll put all the links in the descriptions of all these schemes below if you guys want to check them out in a little bit more in-depth. Uh, but this formation is really all about two plays, maybe three. I would say the most important one, though, is the 0-1 trap. The second most important would probably be the skinny post. But I don't run the skinny post in this particular play. The 0-1 trap is my favorite run play uh, probably in this entire game. Uh, and then my second favorite run play is a stretch which is another play that i'm not going to run necessarily in this formation the halfback zone week's pretty good as well like i said check out the uh, the full breakdown to that formation link in the description below but just like the fullback inside, the run play that I'm always looking for is the 0-1 trap. If you don't come correct, if you don't come and pack this box with a cover three safety or pinch the defensive lineman something, you got to really stack this box heavy or else I'm going to come out in this 0-1 trap. And he's in a nickel formation, which also isn't very good. So you're going to see on the very first play. What? What? He could go all the way. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging away. And now you can see he was in that big nickel over G meta, but, you know, it is what it is. So we have a very big play on back-to-back -back plays on offense. On the defensive side, I know he's got to start passing a lot, so I'm coming out in some cover four drops. He's trying to hit me with some slants here. Not going to work out for him. Gotcha, bitch. I know he's in the situation where he's got to pass, so I'm going to take full advantage of that. So back on the offensive side, I mean, we could go right back to these run plays based off the fact that we're already in his territory. Minute 35 left, like I said, if he doesn't respect this 0-1 trap, that's going to be my first call. If he does respect that, I typically go to halfback stretch. But he isn't even respecting the main play yet, so I don't even have to worry about that. So staying in that formation on the next play, like I said, I got a lot of plays that I'm going through. As long as I see some gaps, I'm going to hit this 0-1 trap. And you can see, I'm having success every single time. Now, with about four. 49 seconds left and he's running some all-out man blitzes we're gonna go ahead and go to our red zone play which is the paf slide like i said this is my money down play third and two especially in the red zone it's one of the better red zone plays making the same adjustments all i'm really doing is streaking the x route i put the a route sometimes on a smart route to shorten it because obviously it'll help in a shorter situation like this and then on third and two like i said against any zone this running back is just wide open and we're just pretty much walking in there <laughs> On the defensive side, my opponent's still trying to hit crossers. I think he thinks I'm in cover for match when I'm in cover for drop. So we're going to get another interception gotcha, as we just jump all over that. We get the fumble. You ever just get the feeling it's not your day? As I pick up the fumble immediately. Then on the next play, with only 22 seconds left, obviously I can't run the football here. So I'm going to hit him with my pass heavy uh, formation once again. I'm going to go with that middle high low. Like I said, it doesn't matter what defense I see with the middle high low. I can make something happen with it. On the first play, I read man coverage. Now, this is the man setup. The tight end's typically the first read. And he takes away that first read, so I'm just going to go to the second read. And we get a ridiculous catch from Randy Moss. Like I said, sometimes it's just not your day, so my opponent's just going to move on. See ya. Next game, we get a dude rocking an all Ravens team. I had a lot of really weird uh, theme teams this weekend. I've played a dude playing the, with an all Bears team. That was different. He had Mitchell Trubisky as quarterback. I uh, saw some crazy theme teams, but obviously, you know, as long as you have a theme team, you got some decent cams, which typically means you're a pretty good opponent, uh, which this dude has a pretty good setup. So, on the offensive side, I'm going to set up the exact same offense, put my fullback as my number one running back once again, change the uh, fullback inside to my X, uh, and then pick the doubles in. Exact same setup. Nothing really changed. Now, this particular 
defense. This 3-3-5 wide uh, does give this offense problems, though. This is one of those defenses that just the spatial alignment typically gives it issues. This is the one of the best running options nope. is to try to take it outside. As you can see right there, I cut a little bit too close. Doesn't work out. So we're going to go pretty quickly to our second formation, our passing formation, because he runs a lot of cover three. Uh, we're just going to try to hit him with that middle high low one more time. This is the cover three setup. I uh, can't tell 100% that he's in cover three, but I'm going to be looking for that wire out one more time. Break yourself, fool! He could go all the way! Three plays in. We're scoring a one-play touchdown. This, like I said, is one of my favorite plays in the entire game. On the defensive side, I'm really trying out a new defense out of the 4-3 normal. Um, I mean, I basically just put Derek Thomas at my defensive end spot. I put Chase Young at the defensive tackle spot. Put Patrick Willis at the linebacker spot. And then I just pretty much run uh, cover four match, which is, you know, it's pretty much cover four quarters. This is pretty much all I've been running all game. Uh, and this defense has had a lot of success for me. So there's a good chance I might put this out in the future. I'm not going to go over too much here. On the first play, I don't get the full setup in. Uh, and he gets a pretty good run. But on the next play, when I do get the full setup in, you can see how tightly packed this box is. Nope. And then this is the result, as he gets nothing. So, like I said, this is definitely a defense that I'm, I'm still messing with. I still got a lot of uh, variations that I'm doing. I like time, a lot of times I like the hard flat, which is what I didn't get to do on the first play, which is why I ripped off a good play. But this is definitely an elite defense when it comes to the runs. You can see on this next play here, nope. I didn't even have conservative set up. I didn't even have my run defense set up, and I still got that stop. Then on the next play, I mean, I don't know why, but I chased that play action right out of the middle, and he beats me over the top uh, right where I should have been. Uh, next play on first and ten, like I said, this defense can really be lights out against the run. We're getting a lot of stops. And then second and 12, this is more of the pass setup. I got my three wreck. I uh, put my uh, defensive end into a bluff blitz, uh, which everybody asked me over and over. How do you three wreck? How do you three wreck? That's how you three wreck. I'm sprinting like crazy to try to get that ball, but sure enough, Lamar Jackson picks up his own fumble. Psych! What a bunch of BS. So third and 17 on the next play. I mean, this is something, you know, I'm going to have to worry about. This is his main game plan. He runs around with Lamar Jackson. So on the next play, fourth and eight, he calls a hurry up. I don't get a chance to really set it up. I try to put my defensive ends into a QB contain, hoping that'll be enough, but he steps up right through the middle. Ah, but I guess he didn't get it. I mean, I thought he did. I was ready to be pissed either way. So on the offensive side, we're going to go right back to the main formation. We're going to go back to the gun split close. This is something we want to start off with, but he's still in that defense. He's still in that uh, that 3-3-5, which, like I said, gives this offense problems. I'm trying to set up that one-play touchdown one more time, which the B route was gone, uh, but I just didn't trust to throw it, and I just <laughs> throw it away. So I'm going to get that formation all together. He's in a lot of cover threes. The middle high low is a couple three killers. So we're going to go right back to that. We've already scored multiple times this formation i don't feel the need to dink and dunk if i can just take the whole thing so on second and ten uh we're just doing this setup once again i mean there's no real difference between the set we've done previously the b route gets passed but for whatever reason this has been happening a lot to me lately i don't know why but he's not catching these balls and then on the next play i go right back to it he doesn't make any adjustments he looks like he moves his user over just a little bit um we're just going to set up the a route here on a check down if the b route doesn't get passed uh but sure enough i mean he's not making near enough adjustments he's he's aware that i'm going to try to throw deep but he just doesn't commit to it So on the defensive side, one more time. I mean, we're you know we know he likes to run with his quarterback, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put the uh, strip ball and tackling too aggressive. We're gonna try to get this uh, fumble and end this game. Uh, you know, just barely into the, the second quarter already. So we're setting that up. Then we're gonna put a little bit of speed on the field. We're gonna give ourselves uh, the cover four drop contained once again. Uh, although it's out of the dollar, I don't know why it said four three normal there uh, because we're gonna continue with that. So basically, um, you know, he's gonna try to run with this quarterback. He's gonna have to do it with the most speed that I have on the field. First play works out pretty good. Uh, second play, second and six. Uh, I mean, like I said, I mean we're just going to keep doing these QB contains. The QB contains are what's going to bail me. If he's going to run around with the quarterback, hopefully I can force him outside the pocket so that they can have control of the situation. He's actually running the middle high low on the next play, by the way. He runs my exact setup with the slant. I take the slant away, and then sure enough, he's just got nowhere to go. As he's running for his life, and he gets sacked. So third and 16 now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to coaching adjustments. We're going to take that off because I don't need a penalty giving him a first down. So we're going to go straight to balance again, and then we're going to go right back to that cover four like i said he's got to go the length of the field now uh fourth and 12 i mean this is pretty much the game right here qb contains on one more time nothing's open deep i don't know what he's planning he's just running for his life so we get the sack one more time and he's gonna go he's gonna call it quits two guys neither one of them make it to uh, halftime and that's it that's the vid so if you guys want to see more game plays like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comments section other than that thanks for watching man
perfect. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.